It was a Thursday night when I first saw you Those green eyes caught me Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be the part 2 of my cleaning video. Um, if you haven't checked out the part 1, you should go check that one out. This one, I am going to be cleaning like the other half of my house. It's the kitchen and the living room. And I'm also packing away my fall decor. Um, has anybody started decorating for Christmas yet? And when do you guys start decorating? Um, comment down below and let me know. I'm curious. How early do you guys put your stuff out? Or do you wait until closer to Christmas? Or what do you do? Um, comment down below and let me know. But here I am just putting away some chips in this pantry that I have. This pantry is very small. So I don't have all of my food in here. I have to store a lot of my food down in the basement. Um, that's where I put a lot of my canned goods and anything that I can't put up here in my kitchen. Um, I have it stored down in my basement. So... Um, here is my messy house, and I will show you here in a second, um, all of my fall decor that I am going to be putting away. Those gray totes are what I use for my fall decor, so I will be putting all of that away in there, and when I was putting it away, um... I had a lot more fall decor this year than I did last year, so next year whenever I get it back out, I think I'm going to have to get a bigger tote to put everything away because I'm um, pretty sure I'm going to get more fall decor and stuff for next year whenever I get ready to put it back out again. So, today it was going to be lots of cleaning motivation and putting my fall decor away and getting my house back together in order and yeah so if you need cleaning motivation and are ready to get your house cleaned up keep watching <laughs> I also want to mention that when I was filming this, it was a very sunny day, and if you can't tell, the lighting, it gets like dark, and then it lightens up really, really bright, so um, I'm going to apologize right now for that, so I don't know why it was doing that. Maybe it was my camera, maybe it was the sunlight outside, I don't know. But, I'm just letting you know now, I tried fixing as much as I could when I, while I was editing the video, so I did the best I could. But now I am just cleaning up my kitchen, and I am going to be lighting a candle here in a second to make my house smell a lot better and start cleaning the kitchen. And this candle here, my daughter got for her birthday um, in October. She turned 18, so we had a little birthday party for her. Just invited family and stuff, something small. But um, for her birthday, she wanted to go away for the weekend. So if you haven't seen that video, you should go check that out. Um, she found a place that she wanted to go for the weekend. It wasn't too expensive, so we just, she found something and we booked it and we went away for the weekend. It was kind of nice to get away. It's always great to have a little break away from reality and having five kids. Sometimes you just need a little break and 
Sit back and relax and enjoy everything. Now I am going to be wiping down the counters and everything and getting my kitchen cleaned back up but here is the cleaner I'm going to be using, the multi-surface acorn spice from Mrs. Myers. This stuff smells really good and if you haven't tried Mrs. Myers, you should go check it out. They also have dish soap and hand soap and they also have laundry soap, dryer sheets, um, they have all kinds of stuff. They also have um, face cleaner and all that stuff. I have not tried that stuff. but And they also have floor cleaner and stuff like that. And wood floor or wood cleaner too, which that smells really good too. So, if you haven't tried Mrs. Myers. You should go check them out and try that. That is really good. But here I am cleaning my kitchen and getting it back together. I'm doing a little deep cleaning on the kitchen, I guess you could say. Because I have to clean my stove and clean my microwave. So, if you need the cleaning motivation to get going on cleaning your house... Keep watching this and hopefully it helps you. Listen to a favorite song. Walking on the street when you caught my eyes. Something about the way you move. No, that ain't nobody like. That ain't nobody like. So lucky to be yours. cleaning my stove off here and I um, was having a hard time getting the knobs off on the stove so that was a little tricky but usually I use um, power wash to clean off my glass topped stove and sometimes that works pretty good sometimes it doesn't but if there is anything that you guys use that really works with your glass top stoves, could you comment down below and let me know what you use? And if you've tried anything else, maybe that works for it, but I've been trying all kinds of stuff, trying to get it to where I want it to be halfway clean, to where, you know, it doesn't have stuff stuck on stuff on the glass top. I've never had a glass top stove before, so this is all new to me. My last house, we had gas stove, so glass top is a little new for me and my family. Shut my feelings down. You look at me like I'm different. Still you stay cause you feel something real. Get so lost in my moments. Doesn't mean I don't need you I, I, I fell in love with your colors 
words that kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it well, I am now I am just showing you my microwave. It was pretty dirty. My kids, when they use the microwave, they don't cover anything up. So when they make SpaghettiOs or anything like that, it goes everywhere. So like I said, I use the Dawn Pyro Wash on my stove and I use it in my microwave. And it does really good in the microwave. So if you haven't tried the Dawn Pyro Wash, you should try that too it works really good it also i use it also on um my dishes whenever i have dishes that are the food is stuck on the dishes i spray it and let it sit for just a little bit and then scrub it off and it comes off really good so if you haven't tried the dawn power wash you should try that out but now I'm just scrubbing down my microwave and getting it all nice and clean. That we never had yet, none is real I think we're searching for reasons Not to be like them, them. We fly around like paper planes They never know where we will fall Nobody can see us Still they wanna tear us apart There's something different about the way we are And here is my nice clean microwave I know it's not gonna last forever for this to be looking nice and clean, but it's always nice to have your microwave clean, maybe for five seconds, but it's still always nice to have everything clean. I am a very clean freak. Uh, everything has to be cleaned up. Even whenever I am really dog tired, I still am always cleaning. I have OCD, like my husband says, so... I'm always cleaning. But here is the dishwasher. It needs to be emptied out still. And the sink had some dishes in it. And if you didn't see, there was some food on the counter that I have to clean. So now I am emptying the dishwasher. And then I will be um, filling it back up and washing all of the dishes that was on the counter that could not go in the dishwasher so that's what i am doing now
just going to fill up this dishwasher and get the other dishes that I could not put in the dishwasher, get those washed up, and finish cleaning up the rest of my house. Like I said, I am always cleaning. Um, I'm very picky on getting things cleaned up and everything. A lot of times my kids tell me if <clears throat> with the dishwasher they don't like filling it up because I'm a little picky on how everything goes in. If you put things in the right way then you'll get more dishes in there and stuff. So usually they leave the dishwasher filling up to me and usually um, my little girls are the ones that are supposed to empty the dishwasher but sometimes they don't do that and sometimes I do it so now I am just um, washing the dishes that could not go in the dishwasher and finish cleaning up the rest of my kitchen the city line and the crazy nights and figure I should probably give it a try baby check it out see what it's all about but the traffic was fast and the money was slow the people I met you never get to know I kind of miss this place I used to live back home cause up here it's pregnant paycheck rat race what's next I also want to mention too, um, if you are still watching this video, um, you might want to stay tuned towards the end. I have a dinner recipe that I will be making. Um, if you haven't checked out any of my other what's for dinner videos, um, I have this recipe in there too. So if you haven't seen any of those, then you should go check those out. But um, at the end of this video, I am doing a dinner recipe, so stay tuned for that. Now I am just moving things around. I like to do that a lot. My family hates that whenever I do that, so here I am just moving, moving some stuff around on the counter and getting, um, the counters cleaned up and everything so I can finish cleaning up the rest of my house <laughs> and I am wiping down appliances and everything else and this glass dish here that I um, keep all of my spoons and everything in <laughs> Might be going crazy, don't know what to do My heart is screaming for you, babe And what I'm trying to say is You make the sky look blue Even when it is gray, babe Now here is all of my fall decor that I am going to be putting away I started grabbing things and setting it all on the table So I kind of know what all I have 
and then I start putting it all in the gray totes that you've seen um, if you are still watching the video I had a lot of fall decor so um, I'm taking it all down and then here in the next few weeks I will be start decorating for Christmas and the holidays. Um, has anybody started decorating for the holidays yet? Um, comment down below and let me know when do you start decorating. Um, my family is not very big on, on decorating way too early, this early. Um, but usually I decorate a little early. Maybe not too, too early, but anyways, um, I'm going to be decorating for Christmas here in the next few weeks, so be on the lookout for my Christmas um, Decorate 2023. Um, that will be coming out here soon. So now I'm just finishing up. I did a little bit of dusting and I have the vacuum going on the floor. I have a robot vacuum so I am using that because my stick vacuum is not working very good so I plan on getting a new one here before too long. I am also wanting to get a, um, a vacuum mop. So if you have any recommendations on one of those, could you let me know down in the comments? Um, I've been wanting to get one of those for a long time, and there's my vacuum. So I do have one of those, but I've been wanting to get a vacuum mop for a long time, and I just don't know which one to get, what is good ones, or what are not good ones. So, if you have one and you like it, could you let me know down in the comments what it is and and everything. Here I am just showing you my house. Taking every, I got everything taken down and I plan on moving this white hutch here that I'm showing you back over where I had it beforehand. Um, all right, now I have the dog food right there, so I'm going to end up moving the dog food, but... And the Christmas tree is going right there in the corner because I don't know where else to put it at. So that's where I'm going to put it at. Um, and this bag here is trash and a lot of that stuff on the table needs to go downstairs in the basement. All I know is that I need you in my life. Let me show you how it feels. So here is that dinner recipe that I was talking about if you're still watching the video but tonight we are having green bean casserole with chicken this is something new that I came up with um, most of my family likes green bean casserole and my family really loves chicken if you don't know that yet um, my kids would eat chicken every day if it was up to them but I try to change it up every so often. So here I am just using a few cans of green beans and then I add seasoning to it. You can add whatever you want to your green beans. I just did salt and pepper and onion powder and garlic powder and I'm adding two cans of cream of mushroom soup and I mix that up separately whenever I am um, making the green bean casserole. Um, you can make it however you make it, whatever you put in it. But this is how I do it. And I mix up the milk in the can and then just mix it up in the bowl. And then I pour it all over the green beans. Um, but I just do a little bit of milk at a time in the can and then mix it up until it's not so thick and stuff. But I pour it over the green beans and mix it up that way. 
Um, if you haven't tried this recipe, or if you have, um, could you let me know down in the comments if you've tried it? And does your family like it, or do you like it? <laughs> let me know down in the comments. This is like a family favorite for our house. Um, we have seven of us in our family. No, we have eight of us in our family. And everybody really likes it. Some of my kids don't like the green beans, but they usually just eat the chicken um, if they don't like the green beans. Here I'm showing you, I just cook up, I cut up the chicken in uh, like bite sized pieces and I just cook it on the stove and then I pour it in the, with the green beans and mix it all together. And then I add um, dried onion flakes on top and then just bake it in the oven. Also, real quick, um, if you are near here, new here, um, I am a mom to five kids and I do lots of what's for dinner videos and cleaning and organizing videos and grocery hauls. So if you like that type of content and videos, um, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Um, don't forget to hit that notification bell. Um, and you will be notified of um, videos whenever I upload. And real quick, here is dinner. It all is all done and super hot. But this is what it looks like when it's done. And at the end, you will see um, the leftovers of what was left over for dinner. Like I said, my family really likes it. Thanks for watching. Bye.